Turkey has officially entered the fifth generation fighter jet league, joining the likes of the United States, Russia, and China. And it's doing it with a bold name CAN. This is a massive achievement not only for Turkey, but for global defense and technology. Just a few days ago, Turkey's newest fifth generation fighter jet, KAN, took to the skies for the very first time. This inaugural flight wasn't just a test, it was a signal to the world. While most nations took decades to develop their own fifth gen fighters, Turkey managed to create KAN in just about eight years. When you think of fifth generation fighters, you think of the US F-22 and F-35, Russia's Su-57 and China's J-20 Mighty Dragon. Now Khan has joined that elite club, marking a historic moment for Turkey. According to defense experts, it may even be one of the fastest and most successful aircraft development projects we've seen. In less than four years, the CAN jets are expected to be fully operational with the Turkish Air Force by 2028. Turkish Aerospace Industries CEO Temel Kotil recently shared their ambitious target. 20 KN jets by 2028, strengthening Turkey's aerial combat fleet as they phase out their aging F-16 ANSYS. Not only is the KAN jet set to replace the Turkish F-16S, but it's also designed for a wide range of combat tasks, from dogfights with next-gen weapons to precision strikes, all while integrating advanced AI and neural network support. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a leap into the future of military aviation. Otil hinted that while the KAN has just begun its journey, plans are already in motion to eventually evolve it into a sixth-generation fighter. With this rapid development pace, Turkey isn't just aiming to keep up, they're looking to lead. Tai, the mastermind behind the KAN, isn't new to aerospace innovations. From drones like the Anka, to light combat and training aircraft such as the Kurjet and Kirkus, Tai has been building a diverse range of aerospace products, broadening Turkey's defense capabilities. On its first flight, the KAN was airborne for 13 minutes, reaching a speed of 230 knots and an altitude of 8,000 feet. This isn't just a test of speed and altitude, it's a symbol of Turkey's ambition. Almost every part of the KAN prototype is locally made, from the computer systems to hydraulics. By 2028, even the engines will be domestically produced through a partnership between Turkish Tusas Engine Industries and Ukrainian manufacturers. This drive for self-reliance wasn't accidental. Turkey's push for the KAN project accelerated after the U.S. removed it from the F-35 program. This fallout followed Turkey's decision to buy the Russian S-400 air defense system. Originally, Turkey was set to receive 100 F-35S, but that ended abruptly prompting a new path. So what does CAN represent? A new chapter in Turkey's defense industry, a challenge to global powers, and a step towards self-sufficiency. With its eyes set on the future, Turkey's Ka'an is ready to take flight on the world stage. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more defense and technology updates.